So Ubisoft has officially delayed Assassin's Creed Shadows from its original November release date to February 14th, 2025, and a reliable insider, Tom Henderson, has a scoop on why. So September 25th, Ubisoft dropped the news that Assassin's Creed Shadows will be delayed by a few months, moving its release date into early 2025. In all honesty, I can't say I'm shocked, but I am a little annoyed because this was one of the games that I was actually looking forward to playing this year. And apparently within Ubisoft, this delay wasn't exactly unexpected either. According to multiple sources, developers have been pushing for this delay for months and after the lukewarm reception of star wars outlaws it finally became a reality now the reason why i bring up star wars outlaws is because it released earlier this year and underperformed both critically and commercially while as i speak it's currently sitting at a 75 on open critic and metacritic the user score is even lower floating around a 5.4 out of 10 on metacritic and a 66 percent on open critic now i said critically and commercially this is despite selling over 1 million units ubisoft saw that and they still weren't satisfied so the combination of these two things set off a alarm bells with the suits at Ubisoft, leading to them approving the delay of Assassin's Creed Shadows to ensure that this next release doesn't fall into the same trap. Now, of course, the PR answer from Ubisoft is going to be that they're taking time to polish and refine the game so that they can assure the best experience for Assassin's Creed fans. But after Tom did some digging, it kind of became apparent as to the real reason why uh, this delay happened. Now, first things first, of course, we have the timeline issue where basically crunch, you know, developers are limited to a strict schedule and sometimes that leads to corners being cut. Corners being cut can lead to a buggy game or a less than enjoyable experience. Then there were the concerns from the Japanese community about the portrayal of certain cultural and historical aspects. And since then, Ubisoft has brought in more historical experts to ensure that the game strikes the right balance between respecting history and the fictional world of Assassin's Creed. And speaking of historical and cultural accuracy, outside of the Japanese community, in a game series where you travel back in time and live through your ancestors' memories to do things like fight a pope with a magical staff or defeat reincarnation gods or my favorite shooting someone with a wrist gun a line has been drawn apparently with assassin's creed shadows being set in feudal japan and yasuke portrayed as a samurai here playing a significant role in the game story this fake outcry from people who harp on talking points that don't make a game good isn't even really worth addressing so we'll save that for another video if that's something we're talking about a game like ghost of tsushima has already set the bar when it comes to delivering accurate depictions of feudal japan and shadows is being held to that same standard which is fair so to meet those expectations, Ubisoft is making adjustments to Yasuke's storyline, revisiting certain architectural elements, and ensuring that the game's world feels authentic. Now, of course, the game isn't all about historical accuracy. I mean, it's a video game at the end of the day, so it does need to be polished. And apparently there were still bugs and glitches in the game, and certain gameplay mechanics weren't where they needed to be at launch, or at least in time for a smooth launch. So now they're saying that they're using this delay to address those issues, have more play tests, and get more feedback about the game, which which means that if I were to review this game, I am going to be way harsher when it comes to game stability, bugs, glitches, gameplay mechanics not being as smooth as they should be, as you say, because you pushed the game back by a quarter. So I would expect everything that you noticed before the game launched or was supposed to launch in November to be addressed by then. And like I said earlier, several developers working on Shadows have been pushing for this delay for a while because they saw all of this happening and they knew the game wasn't ready. But until now, those concerns weren't being heard. This delay isn't just about bugs or polish, about making sure that the game delivers the full Assassin's Creed experience that fans have come to expect. So between all the PR speak from Ubisoft and the actual digging that Tom Henderson did with the uh, developers at the company working on Shadows, what do you make of all of this? Are you still interested in Assassin's Creed Shadows? And with Monster Hunter Wilds releasing literally two weeks later, which game are you going to choose? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see y'all in the next video.